Hello. Um, World War One British shells. Um, millions and millions and millions of British shells were fired during the First World War. Millions were unused, and to this day, they're found everywhere. Um, the 18 pound of British shell case is probably the most numerous shell case that you'll find at in England at uh, car boot sales, uh, thrift thrift stores, as you call them, and yard sales. You're always going to find them. As I've mentioned before, don't buy the cut down ones. They're not worth having. Always buy the full length ones because in the case of 18 pounder shells, you will find an 18 pounder shell to go in it. When you put the two together with the brass fuse that you buy on eBay, you have a really nice display item. Um, this is a typical put together. It's what it is. It's just a car boot bought 1917 dated case. And then eventually you get a relic head. And then eventually you get just an eBay type fuse for about £10. That's the condition you find the heads in. And then you put them all together into car boot board case. You put the head on, won't screw it down, and you get a nice display item. And then what you do is, if you find, they'll be on a website somewhere, but if you find the colour scheme for the shell, they were coloured, they were painted up and stenciled, you can do something like this. Again, similar sort of thing, but this one has been painted up for display as it would have been originally. In different shells, depending on the contents, were painted up in different ways. This one says the contents is throttle and it's dated 19th of the 4th, 1978. It's just a new stencil job. Again, brass case, brass fuse, 18 pounder, World War One. Um, what you don't find is these. This is an original World War One British wicker transit basket, which would either go on the side of a mule, the side of a horse, and it's for transporting three shells, cases. Just the cases, nothing else. It's got it's got a sealed base, so you can't get the shell case in with the shell. It just takes the cases. And in, in this instance, there's three French cases in the 75 mil, but it, but it is a British one. Really nice condition. This came from France quite a long year, a few years ago. And as you can see, that's for transporting three shells or shell cases to the front line so they don't get dented and damaged. And of course, once it reached the front line, they took the cases out, matched them up with shells. That was disposable, just threw it away. And of course, with it being made of wood, it just rotted or they burnt them for firewood. So quite a rare find now, one of those with just three random 75 mil shell cases in for display purposes. So that's the sort of thing you can find. Um, but yeah, always you will find 18 pounder shell cases, no problem at all. Sometimes they have elaborate, elaborate designs carved into them. Um, but yeah, really cheap to buy. Very impressive display item. Um, and one thing, when you display shell cases, unless you have a hard floor to put them on, if you have most houses have a carpet, it's best to get a piece of wood, put the piece of wood down, and put the cases on the piece of wood. Because what I've found is when you put them directly on the carpet, the weight of the item eventually the sink slightly into the carpet the overbalance one hits one hits one hits one hits one and they all fall over if you have them on a piece of wood the weight distributes across the wood the wood doesn't move into the carpet so they don't overbalance so if you if you have big shell cases put them on a piece of wood um so that's my british 18 pound shell cases um so we'll see what else we can do. Wait.